All right, so today I'm just breaking down the coping sled I made. Um, you can purchase these from uh, your woodworking stores or anything like that, um, but it's, an, it's not really a difficult jig to make. Um, you just gotta make sure that it's accurate. Um, and once it's set up, you're good to go for pretty much the life of it. So um, what I used was I used a quarter of an inch piece of plywood for my base, as well as a three quarter of an inch um, piece of plywood on the back so I could anchor my clamp into it. The last piece is this sacrificial piece here that I just put and really you could use anything as long as it's got a nice uh, straight edge because really important that this is the piece that's going to be running up against the rail so you want a perfect 90 because otherwise, if this is slightly off and you keep going to put your pieces in here, now your door rails are gonna be all off and your door's not gonna to come together. Now to set this jig up, because you have a quarter of an inch platform now, your router bit has to be slightly higher than normal if you weren't running it with a sled, which you really should be. This is definitely the safest way to run it. Do not try to do this just with your hand holding the rail. Um, it's just not going to come out right. Now to set this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, scrap piece that I have and I'm going to take it in, make sure it's flush, clamp it down, and I'm going to run it into my router um, once I think I have the depth right. And I'm only going to take it maybe about halfway through this piece. The reason why I take it halfway through is then I'm going to call, come back and I'm going to check the depth, make sure that it's cutting where I want it to. Okay, so I took the piece halfway through to check my depth. And you can see, where's that camera? Right there. Once that is done, and I have it where I want the router bit to be cutting, I'm gonna take it one more time through my router. And I'm gonna come all the way through my setup piece and into my sacrificial piece. The reason I do that is it will make a cut now into this sacrificial piece here. And when it does that, from then on, I'm gonna have where I want this depth set on my uh, router table. And it'll kept, you know, keep it nice and flush. From that point on, it'll stop blowout, but it'll also let me quickly set my depth of my router accurately every time and I can keep using this going forward. So. so now we ran that board through, we got the depth set that we wanted to. And what I was talking about was, see how I slightly brought it through into my scrap piece? So now I can line this up with my router table from now on, and I know that that's gonna be, end up being good. And I have a nice straight edge to kind of run this down and make sure we're running it 
properly. So don't go all, all the way through though into this back piece here. Um, the other thing is now, since I have that lined up with this piece here, my good piece comes through. I got it upside down though. <laughs> so my good piece now comes through the router bit and then the kit cut can continue through here and these little uh, step ups here will help support this piece and stop blowout from happening so it'll get you a lot cleaner of a cut and now your rails can be done pretty accurately so Hope you guys found this video you know helpful um, you know it can save you a few bucks it's really not that difficult of a project to make and uh, it's one that you can definitely use around the shop every time you go to make doors so thanks for tuning in thanks for buzzing into the shop until next time we'll catch you then but make sure you hit that little subscribe button if you haven't down in the bottom and if you like this video give it a thumbs up all right now go make some dust. Um, don't forget, uh, hit up all the other videos we have. Take out, uh, you know, hits, bits there. Let me restart this. I'm not blah, blah, blah.